Once upon a time, there lived two boys, Premanka and Nirab, in a town called Goreshwar in Assam. Nirab was brought up only by his mother, as he had lost his father when he was a kid. Premanka was an orphan who was picked up by Bhagwati from a temple. Nirab was very notorious, while Prem was calm and composed. Premanka, my son, hurry up! You are already late for the school. I am all set for the school, Grandma, but I am waiting for Nirab to come down. I will start once Nirab turns up. Oh God, he is such a mischievous boy. Are you guys not punished for being late to school every day? You should be punctual in whatever you do. Discipline is important. Now please don't start over again, Granny. There he is. I am leaving now. Both set off for the school upon Nirab's arrival. Nirab, how many times did I tell you to be on time? Why are you late every day? Tell me. I am clueless. Why am I late to the school every day? I am worried what class teacher will say. He'll scold us. Even I am affected because of you. I think of coming to school, leaving you. But I know that you feel bad. So come early from tomorrow. Sure, I will start early from tomorrow. Let's hurry now. Okay? Yes, yes. They return from school in the evening. In the midway to their house, they come across a mango vendor. Nirav wanted to have mango. He asked Premanka. Premanka, my mouth is watering by seeing those mangoes. I feel like eating those mangoes. Do you have any money? Please lend me some money. No, I don't have money, mate. We bought toffees in the morning with the ten paise that I had. I will have those mangoes at any cost. What if I take them without the knowledge of the vendor? He won't even realize that, and we will get the mangoes. What? Robbery? Don't do that. Ask your mother for money. Come back and buy from the vendor. My granny says robbery is a crime. Don't worry, my friend. I am here. Let that vendor get some customers. I will show my art of picking up the mangoes from the basket. You just follow me. I will not follow you. I am frightened of such things. If he gets to know, he will beat us. While both are discussing, some customers come to the mango vendor. They start bargaining with him about the rates of the mangoes. Both of them notice this. Premanka, stay here. This is the right time to get the mangoes from the basket. I'll just come. Nirab, please don't do this. People will thrash you if you are caught. Nirab pays a deaf ear to whatever Premanka says. and brings two mangoes from the basket he comes back to premanka see how easy was it to rob i got one for you too have it don't hesitate wow it's so delicious but i didn't like the way you got the mangoes you robbed them i am not going to have it i said have it then we will talk okay come let's go now we are late my granny would be worried please premanka just wait I suppose the vendor is attending the nature's call. Let me bring six mangoes this time. We will take them home. Imagine how many mangoes will we get to eat? Nirab goes to snatch another six mangoes. In the meantime, the schoolmaster who is passing that way catches the hold of Nirab and asks him casually, "Hey, Nirab, what are you doing? You plan to rob the mangoes when there is no vendor nearby, right?" No no sir I am here to buy mangoes but I cannot find the vendor anywhere so I'm waiting for him Really okay then show the money you have why are you gazing at me you said you are here to buy the mangoes right Sir I am not a robber but I was craving for mangoes so I thought of grabbing them I'm sorry If you crave to have them bring money from home and buy them but you should not ever rob them if you rob something then you are exploiting someone's hard work please forgive me sir i will never do it again i promise now you do one thing come along with your mother to the school tomorrow now go schoolmaster warns nirab asks him to bring his mother the next day to the school and leaves the place premanka comes running to see nirab nirab didn't i warn you not to steal those mangoes Now you were caught by the teacher and he want you to bring your mother. What will you do now? How will you convince your mother to come to school? Tell me. Oh, don't worry. My mother will never say anything to me. Let's go home now. They get back to their respective homes. 
Premanka tells his granny about all the incidents that took place on their way to home. He then told his grandmom, "I warned him multiple times, granny, but Nirav didn't listen to me and he got caught." Oh my gosh, how many times did I warn you? Don't roam with that nasty Nirav. You will also be punished if you continue to be a friend with him. But you don't just listen to me. Next day, Nirav attends the school along with his mother. As soon as the schoolmaster saw them, he said, "Respected lady, do you know the reason why I called you to the school? Are you aware of what your son did?" "Yes, sir. He told me. He did it out of innocence. Please excuse him for this time." "I did not call you. I did not call you to spare him. In fact, you should also take the responsibility of teaching them the ethics in life. Listen, If he is this cunning at this age then it will be very difficult. I will take care that he never does it again. Can I leave now? I'm running late for my job. Chetna could not understand the repercussions of Nirab's deeds and does not say a word. She ignores what the teacher said. Taking this for granted, Nirab starts doing small robberies every now and then. This became his everyday habit. Then one day, "Hello Prem, let's go to the town." I'll get you some new clothes. We will buy some toys as well and eat something and get back home. What? Are you planning for any robbery again? How come you have so much money? Don't you want to mend your ways? Why are you so much bothered about money? You tell me are you coming with me or no? I am not coming along with you this time. If I come, I will be crushed along with you for the robbery that you do and granny also will punish me. In this way they dissociate as friends and choose their respective paths for living. They gradually grow up into adults. Nirab grows up to be a burglar. His habit of robbery gets worse day by day. He now started looting banks as well. Then one day, "Ma, take this money and spend on the provisions for month and save the rest of the money. Take this." "Oh my god, Nirab, from where did you get this much money?" Did you rob anyone or did you steal so much of money from someone? Ma, ma, why are you bothered about the source of the money? You said you want money for provisions. I did my part. But my dear son, it is a grave mistake to get the money through robbery. Work hard to earn money. Don't pester me with your lecture. I cannot do any work. I only know burglary and that's how I can give you the money. If you want you take otherwise leave. Nirab got completely addicted to burglary. and never listen to his mother's words hello rishab what is the plan for today now that we did robbery and we ran out of money too if we do not do anything then it is a problem nothing much me we should go to the town search for a rich man's house and rob his house that's what we do every time am i right don't worry too much we'll do that easily fine then we will start tonight let us see who that lucky guy would be Both Nirab and Rishab start off to the town that same night. Nirab, see this guy. He seems to be very rich and the house is so big. We need not search anywhere else. Just observe if there are any dogs. Yes. Cannot agree more on this. This house is a jackpot. Will you go inside the house or should I go? You decide. My dear friend, you mastered the art of burglary. So you go. Nirab goes inside the house and tries to open the cupboard. He applied all his skills and finally he could open the cupboard. Basari, I think I've heard something. Do you listen any sound from inside? Yes, even I heard that noise. That is a creaking sound of our cupboard. I suppose it should be a burglar. Don't come in until I tell you to come. I'll have to fight with him. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Please be alert. They might have weapons. I think you should not go inside. You please call the police. Do not worry. Let me go and see. I'll be back. Premanka goes inside to see the thief. He sees him near the cupboard and catches a hold of him from the back. Hey, who are you? How dare you to come to my house for a robbery? Stay where you are. I will call the police. Hey, leave me. Otherwise, I will kill you. Leave me. Can't you hear me? Premanka couldn't identify the thief to be his childhood friend Nirav. as he was holding him from back as soon as nirab freed himself from his grip they stared at each other oh nirab is it you are you continuing to rob people i should hand over you to police then only you will learn the lesson it is such a shame that you are doing these things what else can i do premanka i did not study well 
then who will give me a job i cannot do anything else other than robbery it is not possible for me to do any other job do you understand me i'm not a same person like you really you mastered this art to the extent that you are not able to identify your childhood friend's house trust me i genuinely do not know that this is your house otherwise i wouldn't have never come anyway i will not come this way in future now go and sleep peacefully if you promise me that you will work hard i will give you a job trust me I cannot work under someone so better you do your job and let me do my job you understand i couldn't complain to the police keeping our childhood friendship in mind so you now please go from here i am warning you nirab goes away disappointed as the days pass by nirab continues to do burglary frequently now every time he would escape the police rishab for how much long do we go with small robberies let us target Oh something big I want some big amount and I want to settle in life leaving this burglary I am fed up from this why a big target if we go for big target then we need to rob either a bank or a jewelry shop and both are risky as we have security guards and if we are caught then we need to visit the birthplace of lord krishna let us continue to rob as we are doing now you always think small just think big I am tired of all these things I have a plan. If you cooperate, I will execute it, and then our fate will change. We two will have a big bungalow, car, and servants. Now tell me, hundred small targets or one big burglary that changes our fate? You tell me. You choose the one. Which life you choose to live? You yourself tell me. I am tempted now. However, it is difficult. Nevertheless, tell me what should I do? Yes, I know a jewelry shop in the town. We need to keep that shop under observation and find out who is coming to the shop, security, opening, and closing times of the shop. Then we will plan the burglary. Eventually, we will execute it. So they decide and set off to the town. They do their observation and gather all the information, and finally decide to rob the store one fine night. They now started waiting for the right time to execute their plan, and finally, it was the time. They both came close to the shop. Rishab, there is one security guard near the store. You attack him from the back, and see to that he loses his consciousness. What do you say? Nirab, the guard is well built and strong. I cannot do it, as I am frightened seeing him. Really? Don't be scared. Just lash him with the stick on his head, and the job is done. Should I do it? I trusted you unnecessarily. You are a coward. You always fear. You always push me in the front. No problem. I'll go. You be ready. Finally, Rishab lashes the guard with a stick, and due to the hit, the guard loses his consciousness. Come, hurry up! We should go inside by drilling the door. We should be on our toes. Hurry up! Come on, go. They get inside the store and collect all the jewelry and pack them in the bags. Meanwhile, the police comes and takes charge of them. Hey, you nasty burglars! From when you are doing these robberies? You will not tell the truth here. I will take you to the police station. Both Nirab and Rishab get sentenced for 15 years of prison. Knowing the verdict, Nirab's mother and his childhood friend Premanka comes to the court. And then, I asked Nirab to correct his ways many a times, but he did not listen. Now he has to stay in this prison for 15 years. There is no use of crying over the split milk, ma. You must have punished him on the day when he stole the mangoes. Then you did not bother, so he started to do small robberies and changed it into his living. Finally, he had to face the music. If you had stopped him earlier, then things would have been different. Ultimately, Nirab's mother spared the rod and spoiled her child, which led him to ruin his life. And finally, he had to go to prison. The days of his bad deeds were over, and he had to pay a hefty price. If you like the story, then please like and share it. And for more interesting stories, please subscribe to our new stories book English channel.